Sir Peter Hall helped bring director Lara Foot Newton's first play to London, where it opened to critical acclaim. In April, Sir Peter visited South Africa to hold workshops and offer advice to Lara as she began writing a new play. They always ask me, how do you become a director? Well, you direct. And they say, but people won't let me. And you say, well, don't worry about people. Get some friends and do it. So we try to play too many beats at the same time. Oh, so we're starting with this beat? Yeah. A director is an encourager, an enabler. Don't you think my little girl is too sentimental and stuff? The thing that the actor thinks he thinks of himself is going to be better than the thing you tell him to do. David Magnosi, John Jacobs, and Ned Fauché. Good. Three of the six. He doesn't say, do this or else. That's a very old-fashioned and stupid idea of what a director is. South Africa is a country of juxtapositions. You know, um, extreme poverty and extreme wealth, extreme pain and extreme exhilaration. So there, there's conflict all the time. And of course that is brilliant drama, but it's also life, you know. Let's do something, let's protest. I wanted to explore the phenomena of infant rape. You know, I wanted to understand or begin to understand why it was happening on such a huge scale in this country. But I kept seeing the little girl lying in the field. And the more I thought about it, the more I drank wine, beer, falvein, whatever I could lay my hands on. What else could I do? I the play is important because it is a metaphor, a very harrowing metaphor. It's, it's beautifully done and beautifully constructed so that the elegance of the presentation has a kind of strange tension against the horror of the story, which enables you to sit through it and accept it. Um, I think it's a very important play. Um, and I was profoundly moved when I read it and, and quite staggered when I saw it because I didn't realise what a good director Lara was until I saw that, quite apart from being a, a good writer. Normally, plagues are not given for dowries. <laughs> So, I mean, what I'm saying is that there's some kind of inflection. If thou dost marry, I'll give you this plague for thy diary. I won't give Shakespeare you tells the actor when to go fast, when to go slow, when to pause, when to stop, when to slow up, what word to accent. It's all written there if you know how to look for it. Like a score, like notes. Speaking a play well will not make a play live. Speaking a play badly will make a play die. What he, he's so rigorous about is every line, every full stop, every pause, every, that, that the clues are in the text. That's taught me a lot as a director, but it's also taught me as a writer. Because if he's paying so much attention to somebody else's writing, then what I write better be very specific. It doesn't have to be linear. I mean, we can start it once it's already sunk and then go back to how it sunk, but... I mean, Lara wasn't beginning. She'd done a lot already. What she needed was to be confirmed in some sense uh, and, and made absolutely confident. And I hope I played a little part in that. Um, she certainly helped me in my confidence. It's quite like the idea that there's, there's still a world going on mm. that hasn't sunk. I, I literally savour my time with um, Sir Peter and, I, and I'm there and I'm like a sponge. To quantify what I've learned so far, you know, it's impossible. What it's done is made me more hungry. Wow, there's so much happening out there and, and there's so much to learn. It's like, it's woken me up.